In this video, we'll be showing you how to use Phantom Buster in order to generate comment following automatically and be posting them. So it is one way to be noticed by your leads that most people on LinkedIn are not leaving comments. They can be interacting, like liking comments, but it is really a small share of LinkedIn users which are actively writing comments. And it's quite easy to let the AI basically write comments for you and like offload most of this workload. So you will need three phantom to be running this. First phantom is uh, LinkedIn activity extractor that you can be finding under like LinkedIn list under activity extractor, LinkedIn activity extractor. So I already set it up for uh, one account. It's quite straightforward. It would just take a list of LinkedIn URL as, as a test I was using it on one account. But you can be running this using like a phantom list, or you can be using like the output of another of phantoms. For example, if you're running the auto connect, you can be using the output of this auto connect to be uh, like, like extracting the list of comments of people and like interact with those people in addition to sending them contact request. In under behavior, you want to be selecting post only because it's hard to be generating comments for like longer piece of content. And I recommend you to be lowering number of item you extract to three, four per profile. It is usually sufficient in time of content creation. So just the setup, run this phantom once, and then you will want to use the phantom for AI, which is called advanced AI enricher, which will give you flexibility basically to be um, like generating comment using this output. So in first, you can just pick whatever you want, like I stay on uh, GPT-3. Um, you want to set it here that you are processing individual rows separately, so you will consider every comment as a separate. Create a custom prompt. So I made here like a very basic prompt about generating uh, comments, like you can be customizing it as you wish. And I'm taking as output, so the, like, out as a, the, output of the activity extractor. Um, and I tell ChatGPT that you need to get information from post content, which is the colon in this file, which is containing the text of uh, the prompt. And then just running several time, and it will be generating some comments. So I already run it a few time. And then I'm using this spreadsheet to be ordering the results. So this spreadsheet is ready to use. You can just make your own copy to have edit right on it and then pass the result of the AI enrich here. So you can access it here by going on the result to more and just copy this link and pass this link in here. And this spreadsheet will automatically like uh, extract the result and format it. So you can see back here what was the other hours post, what was the initial post, and what is the uh, comment generated by AI. I advise you to be doing like manual checkup, at least for the first week you're running this and basically validate which one are valid. Like for like this first comment, it has a placeholder, so it's not suitable, uh, but like this one is valid. And then like if I check this, this will be available as an input for the spreadsheet. And you can use this spreadsheet as input for the last stage, which will actually post comments. So just go to, the auto commenter, and this is a phantom which can take this page that input and will be posting the comments. If you are confident in that in your prompt, you can shift this to full auto. So, back if you check this box here, it will be uh, auto validating any dash uh, any comment, and you don't have to be validating them one by one in the dashboard. Definitely, if you start setting up this workflow, I advise you for the first two, three days to be doing manual review, make sure your prompt is efficient. And only after you may consider shifting to full automation here.